Tanya Couch, the mother of that affluenza teen, is back in Texas this morning in court to face charges that she helped her son skip probation and hide out in Mexico. ABC's Matt Gutman has been on this case from the start. He joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, George. That's right. Tanya Couch will be arraigned this morning, charged with helping her son flee to Mexico, becoming America's most wanted mom. Now, Texas authorities taking a special interest in her, setting bond at a million dollars. The sheriff even escorting her to jail himself. First time he's done that in 15 years. This morning, Tanya Couch is in this Texas jail, flown from Los Angeles to Texas aboard this Boeing 787 Dreamliner and escorted like a celebrity suspect on a special staircase off the plane and into a sheriff's van waiting right on the tarmac. The suburban mom with the red ringlets wearing a jacket over her handcuffs. She was very quiet, very reserved. She was respectful. Brought to the jail by the sheriff himself. Her attitude was cooperative. Surprisingly, she was very appreciative. She's expected to be arraigned this morning on the charge of hindering the apprehension of her son, Ethan Couch, known as the affluenza teen who pleaded guilty in 2013 to killing four people in a drunk driving crash. The pair took off from Texas in early December in Tanya's truck, bound for Mexico, staying at this resort and partying at this strip joint. Where staffers tell ABC News Ethan racked up a $1,000 tab one night he couldn't pay. Authorities finally catching up with him on this street on December 28th. But this morning, Ethan is still in Mexico fighting deportation back to Texas. He's wanted for violating his probation. Now, Tanya's lawyer insists her client violated no laws and tells me there's no way Tanya can make that million-dollar bail. She calls it excessive and says she'll fight to get it lowered, saying now that Tanya's divorced from Ethan's father, the affluenza mom isn't so affluent. George, Robin. Okay, Matt Gutman, thanks very much.